So nice to be here, and it's wonderful to see lots of uh, smiling faces. And uh, they ask everybody to talk about their successes, and when I was given uh, with the choice, I selected to talk about my failure and my uh, biggest fuck up. Now, what was my biggest, most amazing fuck up? My first company, I was 26 years old, called CAE Systems. And before I was 30 years old, Tektronix Corporation bought it for 75 million. My second company, Sirius Logic, became the fastest growth semiconductor company for its time. Revenue went to over 1.1 billion, and our market cap was over 3.5 billion. So I'm still a kid at that time. This is all 80s, 90s. And I think I can't make any mistakes, right? Wrong. When I started my third company, it was called Momenta Corporations. Investors were so anxious to give me money, I would not even tell them what I'm going to do. They would throw money at me. Raised 40 million bucks, so I designed Momenta computer with no buttons. We introduced it in 1991, November. We were on the cover of 20 magazines. Everybody said this MVP of the year, future of computing. Why would anybody want to have anything except this? I got 10 awards. Cover of 20 magazines. Everything is great, right? April 1st, 1992, I come to work. There is a board meeting going on. I had hired chief operating officer of Apple to be my COO because we were growing. Our first year orders was 300 million. I'd cut it down, told my board, only 100 million is our first year revenue. And we shipped first month close to $25 million worth of products. So I thought this was a done deal. What I didn't know was the product did not stand the test of the market. And people did not know how to work with a tablet that had no buttons. All they had to do was put their pen or their finger on the screen and it would wake up. Everybody returned it and said, this thing is not working. Well, I ask everybody, I'm the CEO, the chairman. I did not call for a board meeting. And I was told, they did. And I'm fired. We as human beings have a shock, lose something we really love. What is our first reaction? Have you ever noticed you lose your iPhone? What do you do? You keep looking for it. It must be somewhere in here. It's denial. Denial is the first part. Then, after a few hours, a few days, a few weeks, it really feels horrible. And you start to say, maybe it did happen. You accept it. And what's your reaction next? Anger, huge anger. Those goddamn bastards, why the hell did they fire me? Guess what? What was my title? Chief Executive Officer. As the CEO of a company, didn't matter who made mistake, who was the bastard, who fired me. I selected them to be my board members. If a product had bugs, I selected my VP of engineering. If we had 
support issues, manufacturing issues. I hired and approved every one of them. That's what CEO does. You can't go and say it's their fault. It's all my fault. So when you recognize that, you go to the next level, still is horrible, still sucks, but at least you say, okay, I screwed up, I got fired, and if you are man enough, you cry. They teach us, unfortunately, that we have to be macho and never cry. That's pure bullshit. And once we have gotten over crying and feeling sorry for ourselves, you go to the next phase. What did I learn? And how could I improve my game? That's what a champion does. Champions learn to celebrate their failures, learn from it, and the next game, they have a higher chance to succeed. Anytime you meet an entrepreneur, a VC, who thinks he's here, and you are here, run away from them as soon as you can, because they haven't been burned yet. And you might be their first momento. The good ones have gone through ups and downs, and they know that they are not that much of a hardship, and nothing is worse than having an arrogant son of a bitch on your board <laughs> trying to tell you what you should do, everything. You want somebody who understands how difficult it is to go and get a company out of, off the ground, and how it is full of ups and downs. And the ones who know that there are going to be daily failures, prepare themselves to recognize it quickly, and go and come up with an open discussion with all the team and come up with solutions so that the failure is a small one and they start to go up again, but they're ready for the next failure. And then they fix it and they go up. My definition of success is management of failures. And you do that well, you start to become bulletproof. Nothing shakes you anymore. Getting fired, BFD. I learned from it. This is the universe trying to get me to evolve, get stronger. Thank you so much. Pleasure to be here.